All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just going to get my pen set up straight here. Never leave stays where I want. All right. Science 10 students. Today, gravitational potential energy worksheet. We're going to go through the solutions. So if you have had some questions about it, we will we'll take a look at it. Gravitational potential energy. Uh, there's different ways that you could take a look at this. We could call this the energy of position. You could just, in terms of just being potential energy, stored energy. And I think I actually had a different definition in uh, the video that I put together yesterday, and I forget exactly what that said. But, you know, these these are really the things that we're taking a look at. The energy of position, you know, that was the idea. You've got, uh, you know, somebody sitting in a, a chair with long legs, remember? And, you know, we can have a bowling ball down here. That's one position. But if we put the bowling ball up above here into a different position, well, we've given it some energy. We've raised it up. And, you know, there's some fear there because, you know, it might fall onto that person. We don't want that to happen. So anyways, that's what we would mean by the energy of position. <clears throat> what is the formula for gravitational potential energy? And that we're specifying right now the gravi idea of gravitational potential energy because we mentioned that there are like chemical potential energy. There is, uh, you know, if you think of a stick of dynamite, that's, uh, you know, bad potential energy. Uh, you know, the idea of, uh, uh, elastic potential energy, you know, so if you have uh, this is a slingshot and you've got a rock in here, then, you know, you've got the idea of gravity or a spring potential energy and you don't want to see that. So for gravitational potential energy, generally the symbol we would use is EP for energy potential and we talk about MGH. And uh, that being how we calculate the gravitational potential energy. The unit of measurement for gravitational potential energy and any energy is the joule. And capital J is the symbol for that. All right. John has suspended. See, John is a magician. So he's got, here's John. Should we give him a top hat? It's his eyes, his mouth is up here. I don't know. Because uh, he's a magician, he's got a top hat. And he has suspended. Ooh, and there's this object. <laughs> and it's 50 kilograms. <clears throat> and it happens to be 50 meters above the ground. John is pretty amazing <laughs> as a magician. Um, calculate the object's potential energy. All right, so what do we know? Again, let's do this how I want you to do this, writing things down. We have this 50 kilograms, that's our mass. We have our 50 meters, that's our height. And so we have our potential energy being mgh, all right? So our m is 50. Pushing my computer to hard today. G, 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 you know, G over here. Oh, yes. G is equal to 9.8 newtons per kilogram, our gravitational field strength. This is gravitational potential energy. We're going to be using our 9.8. And then we have times our height, which happens to be 50. And uh, we plug this into our Casio FX 260 solar. And we get two, four, five, zero, zero, and that's our potential energy. But hold on, we're missing something. Joules, capital J. We need to include the units. All right, Mrs. Jacobs dropped an object from 10 meters. Okay, so here is where she's at. This is maybe in her house, and we are 10 meters high. And here's, this is 
and she's dropping it. Is dropping it 10 meters. She knows it did 50 joules of work. All right, so information. We have 10 meters. Well, that's a height. We have 50 joules. Well, that's our potential energy. Uh, how much did it weigh? Weigh? Is that M? No, that's it. We talk about things weighing. What we're doing is we're, we're talking about the force of gravity, which is equal to mg. So mg is what we're looking for. But we can just solve for m first. So we have Ep is equal to mgh. We can go through the ones that I gave you. So m is equal to our Ep divided by our gh. So that's going to be equal to 50 joules divided by 9.8 divided by 10 meters. So 50 divided by 9.8 divided by 10 is equal to point zero point five one kilograms. And I'm just going to come back up here then to calculate the weight. We'll go 0 0.51 times our 9.8. Uh, and that's equal to 5 newtons. So, how much did it weigh? This is how much it weighed, and I figured that out, and then I put, I think in the answers I gave the answer in terms of the kilograms. So, yeah, not technically correct, but this is a better answer in terms of weight. Maria is holding a ball from a height of 2 meters and has a potential energy of 10 joules. Calculate the mass of the ball. So here we have Maria, and she's holding a ball two meters high. And there is a potential energy of 10 joules. Height is equal to two meters, and we want to know the mass. So we have Ep is equal to mgh. So M is equal to our EP divided by GH. So that will equal our 10 joules divided by 9.8 and our uh, 2 meters. And here, then, we get a mass that's equal to 0 0.51 kilograms. Easy peasy. All right. Brian has an object suspended in the air. A uh, mass of 100 kilograms, 25 meters above the ground. Well, you know, I think Brian might be, you know, a better magician than uh, who it was, John. Because, well... He is suspending. So let's give him a strange hat. There's Brian. And so we've got this bigger object and it's suspended in the air. And it's suspended in the air 25 meters. You know, my only reason I like doing these questions is so I can do these diagrams. What is the object's potential energy? All right, so we have 100 kilograms. That's our mass. We have our height, which is 25 meters. And we want to know what the potential energy is. So we'll go Ep is equal to mgh. We'll take our 100 kilograms. We'll take our 9.8 with gravitational field strength. And then we'll take our height of 25. 
and 100 times 9.8 times 25, ah, ah, ah. and that's equal to 24500. Zero, zero. That's our EP, but hold on, that's joules, because this is energy. There we go. Oh, even Brian's, let's put Brian on a table. Otherwise, he's floating in midair. <laughs> Ooh, flying. All right. The mass of a rock is 1,220 kilograms, and it has a potential energy of 100, 400 joules when it's rolled down a hill. Calculate the height. Doing this question, like, I didn't make up these questions. I, I bored them. Um, I, I think they made a mistake in terms of their calculations. All right, so we've got a rock, um, and the rock's up a hill. And let's put that rock onto that hill. And what we want to know is what the height is here. 12, the mass is 1220 kilograms. The potential energy is equal to 400 joules. And we want to know the height. And so we have EP is equal to MGH, or H is equal to EP divided by MG. Well, our EP is 400 joules. Our M is 1220 kilograms times 9.8. So 400 divided by 1, 2, 2, 0, divided by 9.8. And I did something wrong, so let's try that again. So 400 divided by 1, 2, 2, 0, divided by 9.8. And we get a value of 0 0.033 meters. And so if we were to move the decimal place over three places, that would be 33 millimeters or 3.3 centimeters. So if you were to take your fingers and your thumb, That would be about three centimeters. And that's how high this is. That's why I think this is kind of a silly question. Anyways, there's, there's my hand. And there's my wrist. There we go. And, you know, I should have the, my other fingers in there because otherwise it looks really weird. There we go. Not that it looks not weird. <laughs> I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Here we go. Anyways, um, hope you have a really good day. Hopefully this helps in terms of doing some of the calculations for this. As I say, you can be expecting a quiz tomorrow, tomorrow. How can this get more exciting? All right. Anyways, uh, you have a good rest of your day. Take care.